Hello, my name is Galang, and in this video, I'm going to talk about the measurement of immersion in research context. The challenge with research about immersion is what element of immersion which are measurable and what about the sensitivity of the measurement tools there are two kinds of variables in this research the first one is the variables that are observable and the second one is the variables that are not observable there are examples of observable variables the first one is the behavior itself so you can see someone emotional reaction based on their behavior for example if someone get a void of something in rush we can guess maybe they are afraid of something the second example of observable variables is physiological responses if you use some kind of tools for example the galvanic skin conductance response matter you can identify what kind of electrodermal activity that leads to certain emotional responses so for example with that tools if you can provide a signal of something then you can argue that there is emotional response happening right now and you need to correlate it with an object oh maybe someone is being afraid of something like a picture that is shown in a computer the example of non-observable variable is intention intention to behave in a way and one of the measurement technique that you can apply is using self-report questionnaire so by asking them what they want to do or what they feel or what they feel they want to do it's going to capture the emotional response towards certain behavior among many methods to measure emotional responses i'm going to talk about descriptive method that is largely used by students who study in psychology one of the technique of descriptive model is using self-report questionnaire so it relies on subject honesty to describe what they feel in a, spe in a specific event or moment and there are two kinds of self-report that you can use the first one is open-ended questionnaire so basically the experimenter or the researcher asks you with uh, questions and it is up to you to answer that questions the second type of self-report is using a rating scale or multiple choice so in the letter type experimenter has already determined the options of responses so the task for the subject is just to choose which option represent themselves the best the second example of descriptive model or method is using photos or illustrations so in this uh, technique the researcher shows subject with a photo and they ask them to evaluate what kind of emotions in that photo and that's what Paul Ekman did with his famous research about basic emotion which made him conclude that there were six basic emotion that all human across culture usually have 
Descriptive methods is one of the easiest one to measure emotion and there is still a lot of argument about the validity of that methodology but if you can make sure that the subject honest during the response then I guess we can trust the finding using that measurement technique there are a lot of more measurement technique for example like you look at the physiological responses you look at the brain activity during certain emotional responses but I guess for the purpose of psychological studies descriptive methods is already enough to understand what kind of emotional responses that people have at a certain time that's all for now and I hope this video series can help you to understand how important emotion is for our life. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next project.